Mark your calendars because we think we've got the dates for Apple's next events. We're breaking down everything we're expecting to see right here on the Apple Core. The first date to look out for, March 25th. Now, it does seem a little bit early to be getting invites for our March event, but according to BuzzFeed sources, this is when Apple is set to hold its next big event at the Steve Jobs Theater in its Cupertino headquarters. Just note that until we see those invites, I, for one, am taking this one with a grain of salt. We've definitely been expecting a spring event from Apple, so this should come as no surprise, especially considering last year's iPad event was on March 27th, so right around the same time. But what is surprising is that this year's event wouldn't feature any iPads, or hardware of any sort for that matter. According to the report, the headliner for this event would be Apple's news service. Again, another one we saw coming, this one is supposed to be a monthly subscription on Apple's news app of about $10 a month, which would give you access to a bunch of different news outlets. The Netflix as news, as it's being referred to. The New York Times, Washington Post, and Wall Street Journal have all been rumored to be in talks with Apple to be part of the service. But according to a Wall Street Journal report, this deal may go south because Apple's asking to keep 50% of the revenue, which doesn't really seem like a very good deal for the actual content creators. But even if they're able to reach the agreement and launch this thing by March 25th, there are a few other things that seem a little bit suspect to me. Starting with the fact that the 25th is a Monday and Apple tends to favor Tuesdays for its big launch events. More importantly, why would Apple host a launch event based solely on an extension of Apple News? Now, a standalone launch event would make more sense, at least to me, if they were to bundle it with their big video streaming service announcement, which apparently is also a possibility according to this new Bloomberg report. Or maybe if they were to couple it with some of their product launches, which is also rumored to be happening right around the same time. A sketchy report, their words, not mine, on a Greek blog site discovered by 9to5Mac seems to suggest Apple will unveil new iPads, AirPods, and that AirPower mat on a March 29th launch event. Friday. Suspect. Now, the latter speaks for itself, that wireless charging mat that Apple's been teasing since 2017. But now let's talk about the other two products. Those tiny little AirPod sequels might just be the most anticipated Apple product of 2019. Well, for many of you at least, judging by the comments. So it's no surprise there's been plenty of rumors about them over the last few weeks. Last we'd heard, we were gonna get the full makeover complete with the biometric sensors, noise cancelling, new colors, and wireless charging case before the summer. But a recent tweet from longtime Apple leaker at OnLeaks suggests we may only be getting one of the above, the wireless charging case. The rest of the features, aka the actual AirPods 2, wouldn't come until the September launch event this year alongside new iPhones and an Apple Watch, which is kind of a bummer. But he does go on to mention he's not 100% sure he can vouch for his sources, so there may still be hope to get those brand new AirPods sooner than that. The other product that's more a matter of when at this point is a new iPad, or in this case, multiples. There's clues hidden in the iOS 12.2 code, and there's the fact that Apple has already registered them in the Eurasian Economic Commission. We're expecting a cheaper 10-inch iPad that would replace last year's 9.7-inch, and the iPad Mini 5, which has been forgotten for years. A report from Mako Takara via Mac Rumors suggests the new Mini would have the exact same design and dimensions as the previous models, so no Face ID and those barely there bezels, but yes to the headphone jack and lightning port and an updated processor, either the A10 chip or the A10X chip. Also rumored to be making a comeback, a new 7th generation iPod. But seriously, if you had to choose one, which one are you most excited about? iPad Mini? iPod, AirPods, AirPower Mat, or Apple News service for that matter? I'll be chiming in with my pick on the comment section below and on Twitter, so feel free to join in on the conversation. Next on the calendar, WWDC, Apple's annual Worldwide Developers Conference, which apparently also has a date as of this week. Again, no official word from Apple yet, but Mac Rumors seems to be fairly confident this year it will begin June 3rd at the McHenry Convention Center in San Jose. 
And I for one would have to agree, given that it always falls on that first week of June, and the fact that there was mention of it on the City of San Jose's Office of Cultural Affairs events calendar, which has since been removed. Oops. Just do me a favor and don't book your travel until registration opens, likely around mid-March, just in case. Now, this is where I would have thought that Apple would have announced all its new services, but who even knows anymore? What we are definitely getting is new software updates. iOS 13 with that rumored dark mode on the iPhone, those 230 new emojis we talked about last week, along with updates to macOS, watchOS, and tvOS. Beyond that, we have the September launch event, which, well, we all know by now, new iPhones, maybe an Apple Watch Series 5, and those AirPods 2. And that's not even the end of it. Needless to say, we're just getting warmed up. That does it for our show today, but as always, you can keep up with all the latest Apple news and rumors on CNET.com and subscribe to our channel to get more Apple Core. Also, I'm going to take a little break next week to go cover the Samsung event. I know, I'm a traitor. But we'll be back the week of the 28th with our usual programming. See you then.